Hi folks, today I'm going to show you how to control a DC gear motor using an Arduino and a relay. This is a breakout episode from my video, Six Ways to Control a DC Gear Motor. You can view that video here and see additional details on how a relay works and other ways to work with DC gear motors. In that video, I showed how connecting a five volt signal across the two relay pins shown here connected by the blue and the red jumper wires would close the relay and turn on your motor. So it seems like it would be simple. You would connect the blue jumper wire here to ground and the red jumper wire to a digital pin on the Arduino, which you could then toggle high and low to open and close the relay. Unfortunately, that doesn't actually work. And here's why. The digital output pins on the Arduino don't have enough current to open and close the contacts on this relay. So we've got to add a transistor to the mix. Let's take a look at the pin layout. The switch is connected via this white jumper cable to Arduino Digital Pin 4. I'm using a 2N3904 transistor that you see right here. It's very inexpensive and very common. For additional information about how transistors work, check out this segment here in my video, Six Ways to Work with DC Gear Motors. The center pin of the transistor is connected via this orange jumper wire to Arduino Digital Pin 9. The left lead of the transistor is connected directly to ground and the right pin of the transistor is connected to the left lead on my relay. These are the two leads, the red and the blue, that open and close the relay coil. The black wire establishes a common ground between the breadboard and the Arduino. And then the red cable here is the five volt signal from the breadboard to the Arduino. But instead of normally powering it via USB, I'm actually using an external power source here. I've got a battery ground here. That's the power source for the motor and establishes a common ground. The motor is connected uh, via this red cable directly to the battery's positive terminal. The black terminal, as I just mentioned, is connected to ground. The relay's center pin is connected to ground. And remember, that's the pin that we will close. So when the blue and the red can receive five volts, that will close the relay coil, which will connect, connect this pin here, which is ground, to this green jumper wire, which is connected to the motor. So we've obviously already have a positive voltage signal coming directly from the battery. So this will close the ground and will cause the motor to rotate. For additional information on how the switch works and to look at the Arduino code, check out my video controlling a DC gear motor using an Arduino and a transistor. Push the button once, turns the relay on. Push it again, turns it off. If you're interested in using a relay with your microcontroller, like an Arduino or Raspberry Pi, and you don't want to deal with the hassle of the wires and the transistor, check out this kit from SparkFun called the Beefcake Relay Control Board. What's great about it is that it includes the transistor, diodes, and an LED, along with some nice terminal headers, which make it super convenient to use. For more information on this, check out my video, Six Ways to Work with DC Gear Motors, where I cover this in more detail. Hope you've enjoyed this, folks. If you have, please give me a thumbs up or comment below. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, you'll see a lot more videos on prototyping, Arduino, home shop fabrication, and more. Again, this video is a breakout video for my video, Six Ways to Work with a DC Gear Motor. So if you're interested in learning more about working with DC Gear Motors and microcontrollers, check it out. Otherwise, that's all for now, folks. Thanks.